Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can integrate Firebase to a uh, Vue.js application. So here is what we have done in the previous video. In the getting a start button, when you click, I have designed a little like sign in and sign up button. So in the sign up, people can write their name, email and password. When they sign up, they should redirect to the admin area we have here. So this is the common functionality for now, but later we will work on security stuff like that also for this uh, login also you write your email if you have an existing account you write your password and it will sign in uh, us to the application so this is all going to be added by javascript so let's start and the previous video we said we are uh, going to use firebase so firebase is the backbone or the backend for our application so if you are new to firebase of course i'm going to show you every step of this one but if you want to integrate firebase here is a very nice article you can read it, it is uh, written very nicely and they have updated for 2018, in late 2018. So you can just run it in 15 minutes of reading. This is nice because uh, every time you are not going to come and watch the video because of maybe you make a small little mistake and you watch the video and then you pause it, stuff like that. You can go read the article which is very nice. I will put the link in the description. I don't know who is the author but this is written very nicely in Medium. So here is what we do. This, this, they start from the basic of installing Vue and configuring the application. But for us, we have already done those stuff. There are, it, it is not complete tutorial. Uh, this is complete for only authentication. They have not touched anything about Vuex, which we will talk later. But for now, I will come and use some of the their code. Not their code, but the thing which Firebase require. So where you start, do you start from the third part of their article so if i scroll down here yeah this is the step three firebase integration how you do that one first of all you go to firebase console in this url console.firebase.google you create an app here for now i have three app app application here one is for angular view and my personal uh, project so you click on the create project here you give a name for your application for us i know this is view hyphen shop this is the view shop and this is going to be your project id you should not uh, use this credential because i will delete them as soon as i create the application so i accept the term and agreement so you click on the create the project now it is going to create the project and they will give you a uh, access api key so that you can have access to the firebase application then in Firebase, you have different services like Firestore, uh, you have database, you have uh, uh, authentication, all of those you can have access. So you please p continue. And here is the Firebase dashboard. When you c once you come to the Firebase dashboard, now you want your access key. So you click on this little icon in the project user and permission or project setting. I think it will show in both of them so you click on this one and then you will have access to your code so now here are the basic uh, uh, thing about your project if you scroll down you can use the your app details here if you come if you are using uh, your application for iOS you click on the iOS for Android and for the web of course we use for the web and the last one is uh, unity for gaming these are the configuration for our application so all you need to do is add them in your project you copy it and then you add them here at the top they have added firebase.js at the top for us since we are using vue.js we have to install it using npm so if i come to the article here scrolling down here is the comment for installing firebase just copy this comment this is just an npm package so you come to your application if i click if i press ctrl tilde i will open the terminal here and then we can paste the code and press enter now it is going to install firebase and with firebase you can add all the configuration if you copy the comment and you give this error this is the this is the wrong part uh, i think when you copy it will copy the wrong character from here that's why you have to write it npm install save different when you say hyphen hyphen save and then firebase as you can see oops firebase 
this hyphen hyphen is different from the above one that's why when we copy that one it is it didn't work this time it should install firebase for you until it is installing the firebase i will come to the firebase console here and we will copy this file again going to the uh, configuration for for them what they do is they copy all the configuration file and they add that in the main.js for us since we are building a real world application we have to create our own if i come to the source here in the source directory i'm going i'm going to create another file called firebase.js and we will add all the firebase uh, code in the firebase.js maybe in later we will use different services of firebase that's why i have to add uh, a separate file for that and then we will come to the firebase configuration i will copy only the initialization copying from here and then coming to our application for now we do not save it whenever we create the javascript file for the firebase we will have to imp import it somewhere so for for now let's wait for the firebase to install so firebase is installed now and whenever we use the firebase we have to import it so here i will write import firebase you can name it anything and then you can say firebase from firebase when you write firebase this will automatically take firebase name from package.json if i come here here is the firebase name and it will take the name and it will go search in the node module folder and it will take all the file from the firebase and then we close it if i close the command line here so here is how you do that one you import it here you initialize it and then you say firebase which is the firebase we have imported here oops yeah firebase and then we say initialize app you put the configuration the configuration is the api um, the api key the domain and everything else so for now it is fine but later when we deploy our application to the firebase they will give you another uh, url so that you can have access to that one so for now this is all we need to know like we have done everything we, we want so this is configured whenever we want to use this we have to import this file firebase in our uh, application let's say we use it in the login page for you, you for authentication we will import firebase.js on that file so now let's go to the login component here here is the login component in the component directory whenever you want to use that the firebase configuration and firebase variable all you have to do is just write import firebase from now you don't write firebase because it is going to take the base firebase so what you can do is you can say go one folder back and here we have a firebase file so this is a relative path to the firebase.js and if you save it for now let's compile and see if it works just fine yeah it compiled successfully coming to our application and it is also working just fine it means we have access to the firebase variable in our login component now what we can do is we can use the firebase authentication or we can use firestore we can use uh, any of the other database or storage or other firebase services in the login component if you use any of other services of the firebase all you have to do is you just import that in that component and if you if i come here scrolling down through the documentation of them they have used the same thing firebase.auth which used for authentication and it will work just fine and this is the basic configuration for the firebase and in the next video i will do the login so i don't want the video to be longer so i will offer both both video in a both video today so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching